Hello everyone, it's Dirky Dirk, professional YouTuber. Yes, I made five cents on YouTube, so whoop, professional YouTuber, that's me. Now, I had a build competition called Dirky Armor Me, and here we go. So I made this cute little thing, it is frames, it is a cabin, and it is machine guns, and here's the idea. I want to do something a little unconventional, and just see how you guys actually armor these things. That was the test. First up is from Zero. This thing is really interesting. So he's using a lot of these lunatic slab parts, which are not my favorite, but they seem to do the job in this case. He made a nice little simple box in the very end. Very nice. Now I did say you can change off the weapons, and crickets is certainly an interesting combination here, but mainly I'm looking at how they armored it. I really like the way this sort of looks like there's either a fake fender or a wheel going on. That works really well with the single tire in the front. So those are nomad parts up there, obviously. And I have a lot to learn about how to armor up, how to make fenders, so I learn from you guys when I do this. The rollover is always a good part. Kind of simulates an engine, really kind of dig that. The front works really well with the wedge and the vanguard to kind of make a little nose cone. That worked out really well. And on the sides, he was really able to cover up completely these wheels with the large fenders, so that was pretty cool. Now down here, we have an expanded ammo pack and an ammo pack. That's a little explodey. And I don't think you really need a blue if you have a purple. That's just my personal preference, but you know what? I understood, and I would definitely armor this a lot more. Especially in the higher power score range, I would definitely put some bumpers in here because you just never know what comes at you. But of course, we're gonna see how does this thing work out in battle. All right, crickets, let's see what happens. I'm pretty bad with crickets at range but we'll give this a shot. Hey, Sarah, you doing on? Sarah, that's a paddling. They're on two different keys, which is kind of interesting. So technically, if I miss one, I can nudge and try again. Technically. Can I get Matthew at all? A little tiny bit. Hello. Uh, this seems to be the play. Uh, you, know, you guys know me, I always think sniping is not a good thing to do in this game. Help me, help me, help me. I'm doing more damage that way. <laughs> Next one is from Steamroller and this thing, man, this thing really had me intrigued. Uh, nothing, nothing like what I, would, what I expected. So, well, good job for that. Apparently Steamroller also is very, very good at making these kind of builds that should be, they look like leviathans are so huge, but they're they are actually not. The nose cone is a straight up rectangle. With APC doors, there's an avia part, and there are upside down canvas roofs, which aesthetically people don't do enough. It really does look interesting when you don't have them, you know, canvas spacing. This looks really interesting. And over here hidden is a hot rod part, which, I don't know, a hot rod part looks really, really cool. I wouldn't want to just have that as a filler piece, personally, but maybe stick that in the front. But hey, he did an awesome job, so I'm gonna continue with that. Now, here's some avia fenders, which it takes a long time for people to learn how avia fenders works. They just, they, they kind of cover the tire, but not really, and they don't fit sometimes. It really takes a lot of practice. This is interesting the way he kind of offset it, because I do like these little cross-section details of the Nomad parts, so that was really cool, my friend. Um, hatchets, just because they look cool, this little rounded thing. And here's a nice little bumper. Sometimes you can use these little bumpers in case you have anything to protect. Although, he really doesn't, so yeah. If I had a big old ammo pack here, I'd probably want to use one of these things to hide that. Now he's got hard monchos, good for you, friend. I have not reached level 15 stepping moves yet, which kind of hurts having three of these things, so nice that you have that, that's really cool. I love and I hate these little buggy fender parts. I hate them because of the way they're intended, they're kind of really weak and look silly. But if you do rotate them, you can do really interesting looking things with them, like little rabbit ears and stuff. So that's really cool. He used a lot of those for little fins. I like that a lot. And here is really the power slide. Not a favorite part by any standard, but it does kind of cover things up. It does, it's kind of hollow. So you can hide in an engine or a weapon or something like that. Check out the bully pack if you want to just see an example of that. And this does actually work as a pretty decent rear fender. What I really, what really hurts is this used to be a grill part and damage would pass through. It was another gun mount and then they got rid of that feature, unfortunately, just regular armor now. So you are on a grill part, very good. 
and grill part. Very good. Always put them on grill parts. I'll say that in every video. Okay, but let's drive it and see. All right, so we got two Punishers, which I don't really see a whole lot in Cross Out, which is a little bit unfortunate, probably mostly because of the cost. Otherwise, it's definitely a good alternative to the Aspect, but this build has no radiators, uh, which is okay, because this is an art competition. It's not really about how well they do in battle. Oh boy. No cloak, no nothing. All right. Um, you know what? Again, I'm I'm liking the new map. I do like it because, because uh, without you know having said that, there are generally really good ways to hide without being stuck with a certain path. Know what I mean? I don't I'm not stuck having to go a certain right, left, that kind of thing. You can go wherever you want because there's lots of cover. I'm just showing a very bad example of how to play this map. Wow. Still got my wheels, still got a weapon. Oh, you are so after me. Yep, you also are so after me, Mr. Enraider. Thank you for that. And this one is from someone. And someone, I'm a little biased, yes, because you are a mod. But this is a really cool looking build nonetheless. Sorry, I didn't have the leaf fall paint. So he's got two executioners, which do actually form the shape of this build in the front really nicely. And down here you have a very nice slope made with whale backs, which is a really pretty part. You don't see a whole lot because these bugger beers, they're just better. They're a little bit more durability. So you might never want to really use whale backs instead, but it's really pretty. It has a nice canvas, which is a good place to put stickers and your paint, of course. All right, so again, more avia fenders. And this is interesting. I haven't seen them in this configuration, kind of one on top of another. That's pretty interesting. So good job with that, my friend. And of course, these fenders are just great. So you'd have a hard time fendering a twin wheel, except if you did what he did, you, you capped off with a large fender. So that was interesting. I've never really seen that before. Fenders are really tricky. They're, you have to find a way of pushing them out so they can actually cover the tire as intended. Because see, this just doesn't really work. It doesn't cover anything. It just kind of covers this little wheelbase. If I try to sandwich those and bring it out, I can do that up to a point, and now I'm going up, and that just looks kind of weird. So it was a better choice to have this large fender. So this is really cool over here. He's got some van doors downward like that. These bumpers, well, they look good. I'll tell you that, they look good. I never like having bumpers attached to armor bits because this big piece is a good target. When that's gone, your bumper, which is actually a pretty good piece, is over, over, it's over. And he's got a hot red on top of the cab, which is always a very strange choice. But it makes sense here because it's nicely covered with that nice little wedge. It looks kind of cool. It would be shot off in a second, but you know what? Not so vital anyway. And what you got in the trunk, you have an ammo pack, which I would never put an ammo pack right over here so high up. This is gonna blow up your cab, but you know what? This is an art build, and, um, yeah, someone, what's up with that? Uh, this guy goes down here, unless there's some particular reason why you didn't do that. Yeah, there's no reason why not. I mean, I would do this, and I'd also get some other piece to kind of cap it off, just for a little bit more safety. Because you never know, man, those fortunes, they can kind of hop under there still. And these are, this is a really nice way to smooth out the back. And the finale... So yeah, that's the bad part, is these uh, these packs have some decent armor, and you can't get this armor without buying the packs, because honestly, leveling everything up into up to 16 or so, I can't even imagine that. And then these guys are kind of shoving in and filling in some space. Um, hello, I'm a pack, there's another one, poof. Okay, and there's another one, poof. All right, I'm gonna have to check out the vulnerability of this vehicle. Let's just see in the back here what happens. Um, there is the ammo pack right there. Okay, they survived one shot. Not too bad. Nope, they didn't survive a shot. All right, so that took out the side ammo, but not the top. And then this one should just explode the whole back. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, Mr. MGT. That is a really cool looking tank. <laughs> I like it, sir. I like it a lot. I think it might be an actual tank. Okay, point and shoot. I can do this. I can totally do this, except I'm so bad with hills when cannons are involved. Um, let's try to be a little bit more safe than last time, shall we? 
There goes Sophia. Hey, I just shot the back of my friend. Thank you. Okay, come on. I just need someone. There's a bot. There's a bot. There's a dude. Bam! Oh crap, what's that? <laughs> scared me, man. You scared me. Uh, there's a lot of guys. Hello. Hover. Missed, of course. Oh! Let me help you. If you're flippable. Not really. Oof. Um, that was a hard hit. Let's get this guy. Ow! There goes my back. Yep, it's a little vulnerable, my friend. Vulnerable. So be careful. Be careful with those ammo boxes. <laughs> Pamph. This one's from Terra Bitman. Now, he used different wheels, which is kind of against the rules of the thing. But I'm showing it anyway, because there's if there's no prize, then there's no rules, right? <laughs> he also swapped out the cab for a howl. But it looks really boss. So, very good use of these things to kind of round off and make sort of a fake fender, actually. Of course, if it wasn't an art build, this hatchet would just come right off. I'd probably want something more solid to put that hatchet on. These twin slopes, I am the absolute worst at rotating these things, just never knowing what key to use and how to use, I'm so confused. Uh, these are, these little skis are really interesting though. What is that even about, these little skis? I guess, <laughs> what is this? What is this thing? I get it, I get it. It's actually on two wheels. It's balancing on the side wheels on the front. This is brilliant. This is really brilliant. And then when I stop, boink, way to mess with my build competition, man. That, that's pretty funny. All right, so move right along. He's got a Fafnir, which is right on that grill, but excellent. He's got two on these. And that one is attached to, um, yikes. The engine, which is not a horrible thing. That engine is pretty strong. And it's not much of a target bite behind the cab. So I usually would say definitely put your weapons on grills attached to your cab or frames. But not so horrible. But look, when that's gone, this whole back goes kapoof. And here he has some radar wheels. <laughs> radar wheels with fenders. Really, this is really an interesting build. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you get the prize for this if it weren't for the swapping of wheels. Which, uh... <laughs> <laughs> was not quite the rules. So avia fenders again kind of hard to really master those um, Some bumpers which these guys are pretty weak. They're big and beefy It's good for kind of covering up big areas, but when they're gone your bumpers gone as well There's a chameleon which is kind of fendering up the wheel nice way of doing that and quarter walls And this is kind of one of my favorite pieces these little Torino rears. I'm so happy these Torino parts now light up That's really really cool, but what am I doing here? Let's just go into battle and check this out. And there's Zebra Runner in a walking thing. And here's Dark Lord Chin Chin, uh, flipped. Bye. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite map, believe it or not, just cause I, I know it pretty well. I think there's no longer a point to having a wheel in front and back. I might wanna try this again, taking those wheels out and just scraping back and forth. Hey, Jamie. What's going on, Jamie? You're capping the thing. I don't like that. Stop capping my... Oof! I told you, the thing blows up. Oh, in one hit, everything is gone. See? Yep. It's beautiful. It is an art build. But for practical stuff, you might want to keep that in mind. A lot of bits held on to little bits. Poof. And this is my friend, Rekovica. I call him Durko Pizza. Uh, let's see here. He's got Isotope and Blue. I think he's a fairly recent player, so he's making the best use of his pace. Good for you. And he's got two wasps, and they're a little armored on the side, so not bad for you. Remember, for practical reasons, you want to armor them totally up. Any weapons that just shoot straight ahead, you want to armor the sides completely, because wasps are great weapons, but they're big weakness, they get shot off. The other thing is you might want to rotate them like so and cover up the front bit. I'm telling you, man, that will work wonders. Give that a shot. But anyway, he's got a wedgy thing over here. He's got kind of a fake fender over there. Very nice. Uh, a lot of hatchets. So this thing definitely wants to come in and stab someone. Nothing wrong with that. Stab him and then blow him up with the wops. I like that strategy. We'll see if it works. Pretty well bumpered over here. Boom, boom. Large fenders with some good spacing over here, which is not a bad practice. These things get blown off. There's nothing else here to be affected. But then again, now you're totally naked and exposed. 
Flint Intake, some of my favorite pieces are these guys. I like these a lot. Uh, nice terrible bar to fend that up. I don't think you ever need a card jack though, my friend. If you have one extra energy, just maybe leave it alone. Or downgrade your cabin. It's got a hardcore in here. That's always pretty cool, but it doesn't seem to have any ammo. And with wasps, that could always be a problem or a pretty big limitation. You only got 16 shots and then it's, it's over. All right, this is a pretty low power score. It's under 4K. So let's see if people know how to do the brawl or not. You got three people for the brawl. It's more entertaining, so we're definitely gonna go for the brawl. That's just how it is, people. I think we just wanna ram it and stab someone. Pow, stab him. Run away again. And there's Eltum, a whole lot of bots, mostly bots. Yeah, this power score, I think guys are really uh, don't understand the brawl of this map. There's a little bit of a poof. Just gonna hold him down for you guys, hold him down for you. He still has a cannon, which I don't think is gonna get me. But you know what? I lost a wasp in that whole fiasco. <laughs> so yeah, if your wasps are lost like that, um, that's a bad thing. Ouch. There's a guy up there just hitting me in the face. Not too happy about that. I'm gonna stab him a little bit. Hello. Ow. Ow. I still have nine shots and I'm almost dead, so I guess I didn't need an ammo, did I? Poof! There you go! Oh, I see your jubblies. I see your jubblies, but I can't reach him. Where are they? This side. There you are! There it is. I see your G. He's gone. Oh, and you too, sir. Hello. Uh, bam. That was not a good choice. <laughs> uh, wow. MVP! MVP! You know what, Rakovica, good job. Here's an honorable mention from my friend, my name is Junebug. He's on Xbox, I could not port this over, but it's really, uh, yipes. He says it's a donkey looking build. <laughs> it's certainly really interesting. It looks like it's trying to wedge itself with those hatches kind of upside down and this little buggy thing over here. It's, you know, if you want to wedge yourself on purpose and have some kind of weapon shooting down, I'd go go for it. That sounds really up, that sounds really cool. All I see here is a big enormous phoenix, so that's pretty cool. Could certainly be fun. And you know, this, could, this wheel configuration seemed to totally work. There's nothing wrong with it. So why don't you go ahead and give it a try? All right, my friends, looking for a winner here. I'm kind of looking at this one. This one was really, really intriguing. Totally, totally unexpected. And this one was really amazing too, but I think the wheel thing may have messed with the, with the rules of the comp. This one was simple, but as far as armoring, really effective. And this one did a really good job with what you had. I can't wait to see what happens next when you get some more factions unlocked. I think this one honestly was exactly what I was looking for. Just different ways to smartly armor up this weird frame and wheel configuration. I lost the paint of course, but I really like the way the engine is kind of up here as an art build, kind of slipping down seamlessly. I like the way it's kind of like a catamaran almost, has these two separate pieces on either side of the wheel with big cannons and with the cannons making up the main shape of the vehicle itself. I know you're a mod, someone, but I think I'll have to give this one to you. This probably was more about what I was looking for, some really good armoring choices overall. And thanks again for 1,000 subs. You guys really rock. I just want to keep on doing stuff that you guys love. Peace, everybody. See you around. Don't drop that duck and duck. Hey, don't drop that duck and duck.